Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched Tuesday's vlog, then you would know that today's video is indeed going to be an unboxing of blogger mail. I think that's what you're supposed to call these, but I'm not really sure. Um, I've never filmed one of these videos before and I know some people are gonna really enjoy it, some people not so much. So this is your warning now that this is a video of me unboxing essentially a week's worth of mail. A lot of which is free stuff and some of it is stuff which I have ordered. So there's the disclaimer. If anyone is not interested in watching this, then you don't have to, you can turn off right now. But for those of you that are interested, let's get stuck in. I'm gonna start with this big black one which I have a feeling I always know whenever I get these padded envelopes, they're always beauty products. Right, first up, Lancome Paris. Uh, this looks like a mascara, hip nose, the hashtag the icon. Ha, ah, I get it, the icon, but also the icon. So very nice black packaging, swanky. We've got a little pull tab here. Ha ha, wow. That's a lot of fuss for a mascara, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of packaging, but here it is. So this is, I'm gathering their most famous mascara. I do actually have one of these, but I haven't used it yet. So there is that one. Lancome Hip Nose, I think I've pronounced that correctly. So item number one, a mascara. I don't really know how much any of this stuff is either, FYI, but I'm sure I will um, make sure everything is linked down in the description box below. Right, item number two. Ah, okay. So this is from a PR agency in London um, and they had a gifting suite last week, which I couldn't go to. So bless her. She's one of my favourite people as well. One of the PRs um, from this PR company went round into all of the rooms where they had all the gifting stuff and took pictures of everything she thought I might like and then she just sent them to me and said is there any of this that you might like so I did actually pick two items that she sent me one of which is this feminist t-shirt black with the white logo and this that logo is a band t-shirt Style, which I think, I think I'm terrible with heavy metal bands and rock and roll. I think might be Metallica, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, as I'm sure you all will. Um, and this is by Rebecca Minkoff, and I just thought it was cool. So I said, yes, I will have that one, please. And then this is by one of my favourite Californian brands, a brand called Rails, which I'm sure lots of you are familiar with. Um, and this is a pink linen. Is it linen? Let's have a look. I'm not really sure. Because literally all I saw from these were like little iPhone photos. So I don't actually know what they feel like, etc, etc. So yeah, this is 55% linen, 55% rayon. How does that make sense? 55 and 55? Weird. <laughs> That's weird maths. Um, let's just call it 50%. And it's basically pink and white stripe shirt. Rails do the best shirts. I live in their shirts during summer. Um, and actually, I'm having a bit of a thing for pink at the moment. So when she sent me that picture through, I was like, yes, please. Can I have that one, please? And so that was really nice of them to send me those bits through. Recycle. Item number two. This is quite fun because normally when I unbox stuff, like I get all excited, but I'm excited on my own. So this is nice sharing this with you guys. Right, what is this? Mostly macrame. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, so this is um, a black macrame planter, hanging planter stringy thing <laughs> I don't even know what you call it basically it's what you put a plant pot in here and it becomes a hanging planter so this is the hanging device and actually one of my Instagram followers 
um, contacted me via DM and said, oh, I make these cool macrame hanging doobries. Um, would you like one? And I was like, oh my God, that's so nice. Yes, please. And I said, um, I would really like one in black. So she made me this. I'll make sure that I link her details down below. I vaguely remember having a conversation with her and her saying her Etsy shop isn't up and running or something, but she does have Instagram. So I'm sure you guys can check her out over there. So that's that one. That can go down in the new sunroom indoor garden downstairs. I'll just have to make sure I find a pot that fits in there. What's next? Uh, oh, I'm gonna go for this one up here. Right, this is something which I have ordered. Basically, doing YouTube makes you realise a lot of things about yourself, mainly things that you don't like. <laughs> uh, because, of course, you're on camera all the time and then you have to watch yourself back. So, basically, I realised, or well, I didn't realise, I've known a lot, and I've known for a long time, that I have a double chin problem. Um, <laughs> and this is a strap for helping you with the double chin. So I'm gonna put it on the way I think it's supposed to go. <laughs> See? <laughs> this is gonna help with my double chin. I don't know where I'm supposed to wear this. I think you're supposed to wear it in bed. <laughs> I look in the mirror. <laughs> I just can't. Okay, so the fun and games with that <laughs> will continue over on my weekly vlog, I'm sure. That's going to be lots of fun. Right, recycling. Okay, what else have we got? Let's let's do this box because I feel like this is a bit ominous. Let's open this. <laughs> Amazing! Okay, so this company contacted me about a week ago, I think it was, and asked me if I wanted to receive one of these Furbo dog cameras. So basically, this is essentially like a security camera slash baby monitor for dogs. And it has this little hole on it here. In fact, let's, let's unbox the thing. I mean, this is an unboxing after all, right? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> it's massive. So this is it, mm, it smells like a kitchen appliance. So this is the camera up here. I actually cannot wait to set this up. And then what you can do, oh, I haven't read the instructions so I don't wanna open it up. Basically you can put treats in here and then you, there's an app here which you download and you can speak to the dogs via this device so it will actually speak to them and they will come up and like, I assume they'll sniff it because they can hear mummy talking. And then you can fire a treat at them. <laughs> I mean, what a device. I think this is absolutely perfect for us. So I cannot wait to try that out. Thank you very much, Thurbo, the dog camera. Right, item number, I've lost count, whatever this is. Store it. I think it was either Who, What, Where or Buzzfeed. I can't remember which website, but one of the websites dubbed them as like one of these brands, these online brands, which is super trendy and they're kind of like a Zara, but way more edgy. So they often send me a lookbook for me to pick some stuff. So this is what I've picked out of the most recent lookbook. Everything clothes wise that I pick out of these bags is gonna be creased to heck. So I'm really sorry about that, but that's just unboxing for you, isn't it? So first item, is this beige linen, I love beige, beige linen blazer. I also love blazers. And it's very thin, so there's no lining in there, but it does actually feel really, really nice. And it's also got a slight shit, like a coating to the, to the fabric, which I'm quite excited about. Um, and then it's got the, where the buttons? I just saw them like a really pale tortoiseshell button as well. So that looks quite cool. Can't wait to try that. 
And then second item from Storitz. You guys are so not going to be able to see this in all its fullness, but it's basically a white jumpsuit with like these little puffed sleeves. And I would say that's going to be like a three quarter length jumpsuit, but it's got those buttons up the front. It's got like a little round neckline, but I really like these sleeves. On the website, it looked really, really cool. So I can't wait to try that one as well. Also with regards to clothing, Obviously, this isn't a haul haul, so um, I'm not going to do any cutaways. We'll try and pop some photos of like the, the full length, what they look like on. Uh, but, of course, keep your eyes open on any of my future vlogs, any other videos. Instagram's probably the best place because I'll be wearing this stuff all over on all of those channels. Right, next, what should I do? This one. And I've lost my skizzers again. Ah, no, it's not happening. Okay, this I'm very excited about. I know I say that a lot, but I genuinely am. Put that over there. So this is a pair of shoes from a brand called Dear Francis. I'm just going to take that ribbon off so you can see the box properly. This is a brand I discovered a few months ago, and actually they popped up on my Instagram Explore page. Um, so finally, Instagram Explore page did uh, something good for a change, rather than showing me the same old crap that I've already seen. Um, dear Emma, hope you enjoy these. Jane. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's a whole little doobie there. Ooh, all the care instructions. Um, so she contacted me, Jane from Dear Francis, and she asked if I would like to try some of the shoes because... I think she saw me showing a lot of love for their Instagram page. Um, so I picked a few styles, but these are the ones which were in stock. So these are the ones which have arrived first. I can't remember the name. Does it say on the box? Bridge. These are the bridge slides. They're very basic, very, very classic. So they are essentially a black suede slide. And I've ordered these or requested these in a size 40. Um, because I found that these, or rather I saw on the size chart that these come up a little big. So I'm, uh, I'm, gonna tr I'm just going to slip this on actually. I hope you guys don't mind just so that I can tell you if it... Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. So I would normally be a size 40.5. But in these I've gone down by half a size because they are Italian. Yes, Italian made. So that means they will come up a tiny, tiny bit big. Um, but that's those, so I can't wait to wear those. I think I'm going to get so much wear out of these as well because they're just so basic, so classic. They're a wear with everything shoe. So thank you very much, Jane. Cannot wait to try those. Where am I going to put this? Oh, I didn't think this through. I'm running out of room. Oh, okay. Right, oh, and I've lost my cushion as well. My back support. It's all going Pete Tong. Right, let's have a look in here. Careful, am I careful with the scissors? Okay. Ooh. Ooh, from Warehouse. Okay, so in this first tissue, we've got, ooh, like a woven. Ooh, yes, a woven bag. And it's got a little um, canvas pouch inside as well. I love that. I haven't got enough room to try it properly, but I like that. I think I read online that this was made out of 100% paper. I wonder if that means you can't get it wet. I don't know. Obviously, the pouch isn't paper, but I'll research into that. I like that anyway. It says on here that's £22, but this was gifted by Warehouse, but I really like that. What else have we got? Okay. Right, these are a pair of, they're quite orange actually. I thought they were a bit more terracotta online, but they're like a burnt orange linen trouser. They're not lined. I can see through them quite a bit, but because they're like a burnt orange colour, they should be fine. But obviously I'll try them on and I'll let you guys know. Um, so a tailored style. And they should come up a little bit cropped as well, which is why I really, really like them. 
Love those. Oh, with a white linen shirt. Yes, definitely. I'm all about the linens. Um, and then I've also got this, which is a little green... Mm, I was going to say leopard print. It's not leopard print, is it? It's just like a tiny dotty print um, in like a khaki green colour. Just, oh dear, that went well, didn't it? Just thought that with jeans could look quite cute. Just a nice little basic. Very nice. And then this is woo again i haven't got enough room to show you guys this properly but it is another white linen jumpsuit which brings my total to about three now but this one is sleeveless so it is different from the others that i have again this should be slightly cropped as well but pop a little picture up so you guys can see what it would look like thank you warehouse very nice Next, let's do this big gold one. <coughs> okay. Ooh. 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 Wait a minute. Okay, so this is from Estee Lauder. And it is the Bronze Goddess range. The little press release in here. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a bronze goddess cooling body gel. Jelly, it says. Oh, I'm not going to open that up, but that looks nice. Smooth on all over body after sun or as desired. Oh, so it's kind of like an after sun. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Right, bronze goddess whipped body cream. So I'd imagine that is scented like the fragrance, which I've also been sent. I do love that fragrance. It smells awesome. And then this, which is really nice packaging, by the way, as well. It's rose gold. How do we get in? Oh, we're in. This is, what is this? Some sort of palette. Don't know what it is. A palette, don't know, I don't know its official name, but it looks like it's got these eyeshadows, and this is a highlighter and a blush, I'm thinking, and a really big mirror, like a massive mirror. Ooh, love that. Thank you, Estee Lauder. Right, let's do, let's do this, because this, I have no idea what it is. Oh, <laughs> this is a doormat. <laughs> We're covering all categories here today, folks. This is a rubber-backed doormat. This is where I go into my JML <laughs> speech. And it's got palm leaves on it. Right, H&M. This is an order I have made myself. Here's... Whoop. Okay, let's put that packing note over there. Right, can't even remember what I ordered, but let's just start going through it, shall we? Right, item number one. Oh, this was a linen t-shirt. Told you I was all about the linen. So, brown, because <laughs> we're all about those neutral vibes. And uh, does it have a price on it? No, it doesn't. I can't remember how much this was, but it is a linen t-shirt in brown. What is this? Oh, this is the dress. Ooh, yeah, I really like this. So basically, at the start of the season, I saw this Chloe dress. I saw it on matches, and then I saw it reduced on Nordstrom, but I've never ordered from Nordstrom before because I'm just a bit worried with it coming from the States about customs, like, duties, and I just hate customs. So I then went on to H&M a few days ago. I basically bailed on buying the Chloe dress. Went on to H&M a few days ago, saw this, and it's almost an identical version of the Chloe dress. So it's basically black cotton and it's got a slight, not tiered, but a slight um, ruffled hem at the bottom. And then it has these wide straps at the top. But the bit I like the most is this section on the back. So it has like a elasticated bit here and then this will all be a gap and then it ties at the back. So it's got a really nice feature there. You could put that in a bow or just leave it as a big dangling tie but I just thought it was almost identical to the Chloe dress and I think this was only about 40 quid so yeah 
winning more linen. These are khaki linen trousers. Very, very basic with the little turn up hem, drawstring waist. I think these come in a few different colours as well. Again, I've ordered these in a size 10. Uh, the dress I also ordered in a size 10, by the way, as well. This is from the Log Collection, the L-O-G-G. -G. I always find they do really good linen. It's always the section in H&M where they have really good linen. Um, these are basically just the only colour of linen trouser that I didn't have. So I felt like I needed to fill that void in my wardrobe. Oh. Now this I am very excited about. I don't know if there's anyone else out there who has a spring summer dressing gown and an autumn winter dressing gown or a robe, some of you might call it. I'm one of those people and I have yet to get my new spring summer dressing gown and here I have found it in H&M. So if anyone watched my Casa Cook Cos vlog, you would have seen that they had the most beautiful linen robes in the room. Um, one was like a terracotta and one was a grey. But we all know that I have a thing for neutrals and earthy tones. So I found this on H&M. It's like a gorgeous brown linen robe. And I just thought that that was perfect for this time of year. Oh, fudge. Right, this I upsized in and ordered a size 12. And I ordered this specifically because I had an outfit in mind with this. So stay tuned, as I said, over on the gram. Because I'm sure you'll see it there first. But it's basically just like a crepe kind of like a nicer t-shirt it's not t-shirt fabric but it's cream crepe it's got this curved hem <laughs> I don't know if you can see that it's got a curved hem at the bottom and I just wanted something quite big and oversized something a little bit smarter than a basic t-shirt all right oh messy okay this I am incredibly enthusiastic about okay so this is um, some gifting from Cezanne. So basically how it works is they send me a voucher and then I get to go online and spend the voucher. Um, so I had to be up at the same time as everyone else to shop this. It's just that I was shopping for a very nice gift voucher. So I got up at something crazy like five o'clock the morning this collection launched, but it wasn't actually going online until 10 a.m. <laughs> So I sat by my computer, because I didn't check the email, sat by my computer just refreshing it to wait for the new collection, because the lookbook had gone on the website, so you could look at all the stuff, but you couldn't buy anything, you couldn't add it to the basket. It was driving me crazy, and then at 10am, everything was loaded on, and I was just like, whoo, 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 speed shopper. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked from this new capsule collection. And I apologise in advance because it's probably all already <laughs> sold out. But you never know, they might restock some of these bits. So item number one is a little gingham cami. Very cute. And it has this little knotted detail on the top. Let's see what it's made out of. I think this is cotton. Should be 100% cotton. Yeah, I just thought this was really cute. Tuck it into jeans, especially when it's super, super hot. Um, I ordered this in a size 38. That looks quite big, but I think a lot of the time their sizing is very deceiving. So I'm sure that will be... Yeah, actually, look. Yeah, that should be fine. Next is... <laughs> oh no, I've got an actual problem. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, okay, oh no, I do have a problem because it's linen. I definitely have a problem. Um, so this is a linen dress, which is so beautiful. It's actually quite heavy because there's so much fabric. It's gorgeous. Um, so it's a linen dress. It's got these cute little ties on the shoulder. And then it has these tortoiseshell buttons which go all the way down to the bottom. It's beautiful. It's a midi length. And then this area here is kind of like a little bustier kind of shape. Just like the most ideal white summer dress. Next... This I actually didn't know looked like this. Um, this is a little kind of square neck top, but it has some scalloping on it. Um, and there's actually, I'm not sure if you guys can see this on camera, but it has like a metallic gold grid that runs through the fabric. I actually thought it was just plain cream or plain ecru. 
Um, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'll have to try that one on, which is a shame because I really liked the shape of the top. Hmm, we'll see. We'll have to try that one. And uh, next, some colour. <gasps> Sacre bleu! Okay, so a yellow. What's that? Oh, yellow. Oh, I don't know what this is. This might be silk shirt or blouse should i say i think this is silk 100 percent silk beautiful i thought this was very boho chic because it's got these kind of blouse on sleeves and it has this little detail here with the little tassels and the tie around the neck now i upsized in this to a 40 which i think is a uk 12 because i wanted it really oversized so that i could get that boho vibe and i'll probably tuck that into a pair of jeans and so that it can really really kind of blouse over. Now this, this is definitely an issue because, because this is another white jumpsuit with tortoiseshell buttons. <laughs> I actually think I have an issue. This one is belted. It's a bit more of a boiler suit design. I'm not sure about the size. Again, I ordered this in a size 12 because I've ordered stuff from Cezanne before and it's come up really tiny. So I've ordered 10s and they've been really small. Um, so I'll have to try this on and see. I did want it a bit baggy. I didn't want it super tight. But that might be a bit big for me. I don't know. We'll have to see. Beautiful nonetheless. It feels amazing quality. I've got a feeling that's probably going to be my favourite white jumpsuit out of the lot. Right, on to the last parcel and it is Zara. God, this feels quite heavy and I only ordered accessories. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got in here. I do remember. Okay, so I ordered two pairs of sunglasses. Ugh. Right, the first pair are these which i have these in black along with the real lispex version these were 15.99 and they're basically like a i'd say it's like an amber color and they are the like cat eye sunglasses what do we think very nice second pair of sunglasses is again another very trend led so these are the narrower more squished cat eye frames again 15.99 and these are in like mottled tortoiseshell effect so these are the very very narrow ones these are quite tricky to pull off you've got to have a certain face shape for these i can't see mm. don't know we'll have to have a play around with these but i think you're supposed to kind of wear them like this oh <laughs> this is what was weighing down the box so much so this trend, I've got no idea where this trend came from because I don't really follow runway stuff anymore um, and I sure as hell don't buy magazines anymore. But basically, it is beaded bags. Um, and I guess they're kind of like teeny tiny little old lady bags, but they are massively in trend and I actually think they're quite cute. So this one was new in Tazara, this was £29.99 um, and I had yet to join the beaded bag club so I thought I would just start off with the Zara one and see how I get on. Keep your eyes peeled on Instagram, I'm sure I will style it over there. That's it, my packages, my packages have run out. <laughs> There's always next week. Um, right guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If this is something you might wanna see again in the future, then do let me know down in the comments section below. Otherwise, I will now see you on Sunday for my updated home tour video and I am so excited to share that with you guys because we've changed a few bits around the house and it's nice just to give you guys a bit of an update and I have a really, really good Decenio discount code to share with you all as well. So hold fire if you're thinking about buying any Decenio prints until Sunday. I will see you then. Bye. The dogs are basically this colour. This is a YouTuber's house, guys. We've got the whole grey and white thing. Lol. <laughs>